Good morning. Happy Mother's Day to all moms. What's happening, Social Cam fam? This is your man, Rev AG. It's been a long minute since I've posted a recap of my morning message. But this morning's message was titled, Glimpses of a Godly Mom. And there were six principles that we looked at from 1 Samuel, looking at the life of Hannah. Uh, the first principle is that she was a woman of great endurance. Uh, the Bible tells us that Elkanah had two wives, Peninnah and Hannah, and Peninnah had children, and Hannah didn't have any children, and as a result of that, Peninnah, she would provoke her year after year because of the fact that she was barren. So rather than uh, attack Peninnah, the Bible says that Hannah prayed. This is the second characteristic, that she was a woman of prayer. She took her concerns to God, and God heard her prayers. The third uh, characteristic uh, is that she was a woman who was misunderstood. See, as she was praying, Eli saw her lips move, but he didn't hear any words coming out, and he concluded that she was drunk. Mothers are often misunderstood because of the things that they do for their children. The fourth thing we see is that she was a woman of great love and devotion. During her prayer time, she made a vow to God that if God would answer her prayer, that she would do a certain thing if he did. The next thing we see, point number five, or characteristic number five, is that she was a woman of faith. The Bible says that as she prayed and as Eli came and he saw her and he misunderstood and then she explained, giving him clarity, the Bible then says that Eli says, go in peace and may your petition be granted. After that, the Bible says that she gets up, she goes, she eats, and she's no more sad. So she had faith in the word of the man of God. After that, we see that the, the final principle is that she is a woman of selflessness. Verses 27 and 28 let us know that when she went back, she says to Eli, this is the child that I prayed for, and God has granted him to me. And during my prayer to God, I made a vow to God, and now that God's answered my prayer, I'm not going to renege. I'm not going to take it back. I am going to honor the thing that I said in the heat of the moment. I told God that if he gave me a man-child, that I'd give that child back to him. So in verse 28, the Bible says that she takes him back to Eli, and he, she leaves him there after he's weaned, and he's raised, dedicated, committed, a man of God. So happy Mother's Day to all moms. If you are a godly mom, then I'm sure you possess these characteristics. And guess what? Even if you're not a godly mom, you still possess some of these characteristics. I want to say happy Mother's Day to my mom, Yvonne Gray. Happy Mother's Day, mom. Love you dearly. Thank God for the gift of you. Happy Mother's Day to my mother-in-law, my other mother, Karen Randolph. Thank you for your love and everything that you've shared with me over the last, wow, over 30 years now. Thank you. Not that I've been married for 30 years. I've been married for 24. But you've been in my life a long time, mom. Love you. Thank you and happy Mother's Day to my darling wife, Teresa Gray. And then to my older sister, Rhonda Ford, happy birthday and happy Mother's Day. And to my younger sister, Kia Gray, happy Mother's Day. Love you. Be blessed. Enjoy your day.